Well, another day, another project. Uh, today's project, we're gonna start on the roof. Uh, when I bought the car, it had a roof on it, and uh, I've took it off when I made the new frame and put this engine in it, so the roof hasn't been on since I switched engines. But uh, I do wanna put the roof back on it. Um, there was a couple issues with it. Um, the roof actually just sat on this metal tubing right here. There was a notch in the wood where it just sits down over this, and the weight of the roof just held it on. It wasn't fastened. I know they make fasteners on the side that come up and bolt in, but I think what I'm gonna do is weld a couple brackets, uh, TIG weld a couple small brackets on here, and then just have bolts or screws to go up into the wood to hold the roof down. Uh, and then the back has two posts that come down to each corner where the back attaches. You can see over here the roof. Uh, it's a homemade roof. Somebody made it. I don't know who, but uh, you can see right here, this is a piece of uh, three-quarter inch thick plywood, so it's pretty heavy. And it's fastened to this board right here that has the notch in it where it was sitting on the windshield. And then these two bars come down in the back. The material had snaps on it where it snapped onto the back of the seat. And then you can see when I took it off, this side was broke and they just had a pin. Somebody cut a bolt and stuck it in there for like a, an aligning pin. And it was just the weight of the roof holding it on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the material stripped off. Uh, let's see the other side. It was uh, originally whoever made it was brown and they dyed it black because you can see the top. So I started taking some of it off right here. Uh, I'll get the rest of it stripped off and then uh, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like and we'll see where we're gonna go from here. Well, you can see here, I got, I got the board off that goes across the top of the windshield and I've been working on getting this roof piece off but I wanted to show you here, whoever built this thing, you, you can see this material here for the top, right? And then there's this uh, padded material, like felt, looks like, and it's stuck to a piece of cardboard. You can see right here. And then underneath, I guess they they wrapped the uh, wood with some material too. Oh no, there it is. It says masonite. It's a piece of masonite. Oh. Let me keep working here. I'm working up here on the top trying to get this off. I want to get the, the piece of material off here in one piece. So uh, in case the uh, poster guy wants to measure it or get an idea of the size of it. Um, well, let me keep working on it. I got to give you an update. Well... Still been stripping off the material. Some places it was double, triple thick. Uh, I got the padding out from that they had underneath it. And uh, you can see here the pile of material I already took off of it. The thing is, there's a million staples. I mean, I don't know if you can see this in the video, how they stapled this on there. When you look up here along the top, it's wor worse than working on a beehive. Huh? I don't know how many times I got stung already by these staples. But I hope to get it all stripped off and then I'll take a look and see what it looks like. I could see here these pieces of wood right here. They put screws in through the, sh through the metal tubing to hold the wood on. I've seen some under here somewhere. Yeah, right here there's another one. So there must be screws under here that hold this piece of wood onto the tubing. Uh, I like to get it all off and then I can take the frame with just the steel and the wood over to the upholstery guy Have him take a look at it and see what he thinks about it Well, let me keep keep working on getting these staples out get the rest of this material off Well, as you can see here, I got all the wood off of it um, Originally these uh, chrome pieces that come down in the back had rivets in them and they were riveted right here and one must have broke over there and somebody on the other side and somebody put a piece of steel in there and tried to pin it back together 
but they, they were loose and wobbling. So as you can see here, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, weld that and it'll be solid one piece. Originally, I thought that this roof was three quarter of an inch thick, but it turns out that there's a three quarter inch tube under here. And then there's only about maybe an eighth of an inch or three eighths of an inch thick of that masonite board, which is what the roof is made out of. If you can see here, um, the tube runs down here, which is what I thought it was three quarter inch thick. And then these tubes run across. Had a piece of an eighth inch thick, kind of like a laminated plastic that went over the top of the whole thing. It was riveted here and it made this look smooth and then he put a piece of uh, felt over the top of it to give it a little cushion and then wrapped it with material and it made it look like a flat roof with just two angles right here on this side and that side so i'd like to put it back the way it was because i like the looks of it but uh i'm going to take it over to the upholstery guy and see if he wants me to take off all the material or if he wants me to wait you know i don't want to get too far make it harder for him so let me get to welding these and then uh, we'll get over to the upholstery shop. Well, yesterday I drove down to uh, Statesville, North Carolina to see uh, Ronnie Patterson at Patterson Customs. He's the fellow that's going to be doing the uh, roof and the uh, carpeting in my tea bucket. Um, he told me just to drop it off the way it is. Don't strip the rest of the uh, material off of this because it's, you can see here, it's just uh, that piece of uh, masonite and the, and the tubing frame. But he said I could go ahead and strip the uh, material off of this headboard. You can see here I started. Uh, I'll turn it over. This is the piece on the tea bucket, guys will notice. This is the piece that sits down over the tubing. Uh, right here on the top of the windshield. It just sits over to that. Then I'll have to find a way. It never had a bracket to hold it down. They sell brackets on the end. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and make my own bracket and find a way to mount this to that tubing there. Now, another thing I had on the back, along the back edge down here at the bottom, and where the, the supports come down to go to the body, they had a piece of uh, plywood. It was three pieces, these two small pieces and this one long piece you see right here. So rather than strip all these staples, and you can see right here, this piece got wet. It looks a little... Uh, some looked the rod had chipped away a little bit. So fortunately, I had a sheet of plywood here from uh, when I made the transmission tunnel because when I put that new uh, power glide in there, it wouldn't fit, it wouldn't clear the scatter shield. So I had to make a new tunnel. I made it out of this piece of plywood and uh, then wrapped everything with fiberglass. So luckily I, I got a piece and I'm just gonna go ahead now, trace this and cut this whole thing out in one piece. It'll be a lot stronger. And then Ronnie can just go ahead and wrap it. Uh, hopefully I'll get it cut out today. Well, let me get back to work over there, stripping that piece off of that. And then uh, I'll come over here and cut this piece out. And uh, tomorrow I should be able to take everything down there, drop it off.
Let's see if we can get this chased out and uh, Well, I got the piece cut out. Um, I put it on there. This is gonna be looking at the back of the roof, the top back. Um, you see, once he wraps this with material and we're gonna rewrap the whole roof, then this is gonna get screwed down with sheet metal screws into the tubing all the way around the edge here to hold it down. And then there'll be another piece of material that goes over it that tapers down on both sides of these posts that will snap onto the uh, body. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. You'll have to wait until I get it on there. You'll see what it looks like. But everything went pretty good so far. Well, I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and stay tuned next week. Um, I'll see if uh, Ronnie will let me do some videoing down at his shop when I drop the stuff off, and uh, we'll continue the video next week. Again, thanks for watching.